Hi, you don't see any crafts in front of you, but you see food-like items. Um, there's rose water, almond meal, and powdered sugar. Um, so it could only mean one thing is marzipan. If you ever wanted to make marzipan and you didn't want to get, get out your food processor, blender, slash whatever, make everything fresh out of almonds and have to um, throw them in water, and, you know, haul the skin and everything else, um, if you buy the almond meal, everything else is super easy. And as a matter of fact, we're just going to use a fork to blend it and our hands. So that's as easy as it gets. Measurements are also easy. You're going to use whatever measuring cup you want to use. And we're going to do the same for the almond meal and the powdered sugar. So if you want a little bit, you can start with the one quarter. If you want medium, one third or one half cup and going up. You can make it as large as you want. Of course, then you need a bigger bowl. But let's say we're just making it with the, uh, with the one quarter cup. We're gonna start with the, uh, I'm using Bob Bread Mill. I really love it. It um, is unhauled or hauled, whichever, when they peel the skin off. So there's no browns. But the Trader Joe's, which has the skin on it, it still works just fine for the recipe. It's just not as pretty if you need to uh, make the colored ones where you use the food coloring and make the fancy designs. But if you just want it for flavor, um, either one will do. I've also seen a Simple Truth one that's um, distributed by uh, Fred Meyers and uh, QFC. But this happens to be Bob Bread Mill. It's uh, organic and good stuff. So, and many people use it for gluten-free cooking. I just use it pretty much for marzipan. So there's one third cup, I'm sorry, one quarter cup. And it doesn't really matter if I was right or wrong because I'm gonna use the same um, cup full of the powdered sugar. So one quarter cup goes into the bowl. One quarter cup of the powdered sugar will go into the same measuring tool so that's why it's really no brains needed almost out of powdered sugar but what I normally do on this one is I actually do undercut the sugar a little bit because I don't like it as sweet but you can absolutely add the level amount it works just great so you're just going to blend it a little bit with the fork just kind of get it more golden yellow to blend in and really not more than 10 seconds worth. Maybe you get the little chunks out, really doesn't matter. Um, so the next liquid is, um, I use rose water, but you can absolutely use um, liquor, like amaretto, almond liqueur, or even almond extract. Absolutely works really, really good. So I totally eyeball it. It's really sad, there's no measurements, but let's call it a um, teaspoon times two. Kind of, not really. It's probably a uh, time and a half of teaspoon. So you definitely want to start with less rather than more. So I just kind of scoop it out. And whatever you think is like, oh my gosh, it's way too dry. There's no way this will do. It will absolutely do because the oils and the almonds come out and give this all the oils that you would need or all the liquid that you need. So can use just like maybe a tad more but it's actually just as good it's probably pretty good now so like if I picked it up in my hands and I molded it yeah it's actually good enough as is so you don't have to add any more when in doubt just pick it up with your hands and see if that's good and it's most likely good so this is it that's marzipan now you can put it into some wax paper if you like and I have wax paper here and mold it into a cute little roll. So that way if you want to cut perfectly cut marzipan or if you want to make some shapes out of it, go ahead and still put it in the wax paper, refrigerator for a little bit. That way you can cut um, and mold it a little bit better. But you can just eat it right now as is. It's that good. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching.